Good morning, ma'am. I am Asa Genuesca, and today, I am going to demonstrate to you the essential newborn care. First, we need to gather all the equipments, instruments, and materials needed. Then, we have to arrange it in a linear sequence. So, first, we have sterile gloves, two dry cloth, one bonnet, oxytocin injection, plastic clump, instrument clump, surgical scissor, and a kidney basin. On a different sequence, we have the eye ointment, vitamin K injection, HEPA B vaccine, the BCG vaccine, and cotton balls. We also need tape measure and thermometer for physical examination. Second, wash and scrub hands aseptically. We have to observe the World Health Organization 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 procedure. Next is we have to put on two set of gloves. We have to wait until the baby is delivered. So we will note the time of delivery if the whole body of the baby is born. And we also have to note for the sex of the baby. Then after that is we have to put the baby on a dry cloth. To put the baby on a dry cloth, then we have to put the baby on the abdomen of the mother. Then after that is we have to, for first 30 seconds, we have to dry the baby from the face to the head of the baby to the uh, body of the baby, to the trunk and the extremities. So, so we have to uh, dry the baby because the baby is prone to uh, heat loss. Because the baby loses heat through convection, conduction, radiation, and evaporation. And since the baby, the newborn is wet because of the amniotic fluid, so the baby um, loses heat through evaporation. So it is necessary to thoroughly and immediately dry the baby for uh, 30 seconds after birth. Then after that, for 1 to 3 minutes, so while we are drying the baby is also we should check the breathing of the baby. Then after that for 1 to 3 minutes is we have to remove the wet cloth because because ang wet cloth is malamig siya and basi malamigan si baby. Then after that is we have to uh, place the baby uh, skin to skin contact with the mother. So if a skin to skin contact si baby with the mother because warmth ni mother could be a source of heat for her baby in order to stabilize the temperature of the baby and also it promotes bonding. Then after that is we have to put the baby, uh, cover the baby with a dry towel. Para because ang room temperature could also affect sa temperature ni baby and also to prevent uh, the baby having a uh, hypothermia or temperature less than 36.5. Then after that is we have to put the bonnet on the head of the baby. So we have to put a bonnet sa head of the baby because ang head ni baby is has the largest uh, surface area. So ang head ang prone si baby sa heat loss if hindi na tutubutangan ka bonnet ang iyang uh, head. Then after that is we have to check for the Apgar score ni baby. So when it comes to Apgar score, ginagamit nito ng Apgar score also to assess um, condition ni baby after birth if how well si baby maka-adapt sa extra uterine life. So ang first minute sa Apgar score maka-determine if si baby needs na resuscitation. So sa Apgar score, we are evaluating five areas. So first, we have the heart rate. The heart tone, the respirations, the mobility, the um, reflex irritability, and the color. So we are giving 0, 1, and 2 score. So if the score of the baby is 7 to 10, it means that the baby is um, coping well or adjusting well in the extra uterine life. But if the score is 4 to 6, then the baby is slightly depressed and needs airway clearance. But if the score is less than 4, it is 0 to 3, then the baby is very depressed and needs um, immediate resuscitation. So that's uh, important nga dapat suluhon nato ng ato nga score. So after that, 
is we have to uh, palpate, exclude the second baby, and we have to palpate the abdomen of the mother for the uh, preparation for the IM injection of the oxytocin. Then after that is because ang ating gloves is wet and soiled, itrapush, itrapota siya sa may wet nga cloth. Then after that is we have to inject the mother with oxytocin, 10 IU intramuscularly. Then after that, after that is we have to uh, dispose or remove the first set of gloves. First set of gloves and we have to and we have to decontaminate the gloves uh, using the uh, chlorine solution 0.5% for 10 minutes. Then after that is we have to check for the position of the umbilical cord. So we have to palpate the umbilical cord if nagapulsate pa. So if wala na nagapulsate, so it's time to uh, clamp the cord if the position ceases. So we have to clamp the cord. We have to clamp the cord 2 cm, 2 cm from the base using the plastic clamp. Then after that is we have to uh, clamp uh, the umbilical cord 5 cm from the base using the instrument clamp. And after that is we have to uh, cut the umbilical cord near the plastic clamp, not midway. We are delaying on uh, cutting the cord or we have to wait until the cord, uh, the pulse of the cord ceases because it could uh, transfer approximately 100 ml of blood halin sa placenta pakadto sa fetus which would help the baby to have an adequate red blood cell and white blood cell count. Then after that is we have to advise the mother to maintain skin to skin contact. So, uh, there are a lot of benefits of skin-to-skin -skin contact because it has thermoregulation, it promotes uh, parental bonding, and skin-to-skin um, -skin contact, the baby cries less often. It also for, uh, for successful breastfeeding. And also, it provides kay baby um, immunity because the good bacteria of the mother na are sa skin niya, matransfer niya sa my baby, which could help the baby to fight off infection. So we have to place the baby on the chest of the mother in a prone position. And we will turn uh, the one side of the head, turn the head to one side uh, in between the breast knee, mother or my abdomen. So that's it for the fifth, uh, one, two, three minutes. So again, we check the APGAR score of the baby for the fifth minute of life. So we check it, uh, it would help us determine if there are uh, the morality and the neurologic deficits of the baby and if the baby's condition improves. Then after that is we have to advise the mother to uh, observe for breastfeeding cues. So what are these breastfeeding cues? So the baby's lip naga smacking, uh, lip the baby naga smacking, naga open, si baby is alert and active. And ang fist niya is gina, um, ginapakadto niya sa iyang uh, mouth and uh, like the rooting reflex. So it uh, gives us clue nga si baby is ready for the breastfeed, to be breastfeed. So after that is we have to support the mother and instruct the mother on the uh, positioning and proper uh, breastfeeding kay baby. So we have to wait for the full breastfeed to be completed. Then after that, sa pagtapos na breastfeed si baby, is we have to put a eye ointment sa eyes ni baby. Have to put eye ointment sa my eyes ni baby. So we give eye ointment sa eyes ni baby in order to prevent the uh, 
occurrence of the uptown man neonatorum or the gonorrhea conjunctivitis. So, ang gonorrhea conjunctivitis could cause purulent discharge sa eyes ni baby kag if left untreated, um, makakause ka permanent blindness. And also protects a baby from chlamydia infection. So, we have to put it sa may eyelid ni baby. Then, we have to spread the ointment. So, next is we have to do a thorough physical examination. So, first is we have to check the temperature of the baby. So, when checking the temperature of the baby, we could use at the site which is the axilla and the rectal. So, if axilla, the temperature may range to 36.5 to 37.5. So, in rectal, there is double purpose si rectal because we can check the temperature and also we can check the patency of the anus if may buho ba lang anus. So, kung if wala, we call that as imperforate anus. So, uh, so, if rectal, if we are using the rectal, so ang atal nga normal nga temperature would range to 36.6 to 37.2. So, we are checking for the temperature of the baby and also we could determine if uh, the patency of the anus. So, next is we have to uh, check the weight of the baby. So, when checking the weight of the baby, we have to make sure that the weighing scale is warm and not cold. Then, we have to remove all the linens that, covering, that covers the baby in order to have an accurate uh, measurement. So, uh, the normal range on kilograms ng baby is ang sang weight. The baby is from 2.5 kilogram to 3.5 kilogram or 5.5 pounds to 7.5 pounds. So, next is we have to measure the anthropometric measurement ni baby. So, first is we have to measure the length. So, we are using the tape measure in the unit centimeter. So, when... Uh, Measuring the length of the baby, we should have the baby in a lateral position. Lateral position and then we have to put it on the top of the head to the heel of the baby. And make sure na to na the legs of the baby are extended. So our average length of the baby is ranging from 46 cm to 53 centimeter. So we have to measure the head circumference of the baby. So we are only to expose ang part nga i-measure natin and i-drape ang body ni baby nga not included for the measurement. So we have to measure the head circumference of the baby by at above the eyebrow and over the occiput. So the uh, average Head circumference of the baby is from 34 centimeter to 35 centimeter. So next is we have the to measure the chest circumference. So when measuring chest circumference, it should be at the level of the nipple and across the back of the baby. So the chest circumference is 2 centimeter, 2 centimeter less than the head circumference, and the normal range is from 32 centimeter to uh, 33 centimeter. Next is we have to measure for the abdominal circumference of the baby. So abdominal circumference is um, just below the umbilicus. So it is said nga, um, the chest circumference is just equal to the abdominal circumference but there are references that says that abdominal circumference normal measurement ranging from 29 centimeter to 31 centimeter. So that's it for the anthropometric measurement of the baby. We have a thoroughly examined the baby. We have to inject the baby with vitamin K injection. Uh, we need to uh, administer it to baby because the baby is unable to synthesize vitamin K. And vitamin because um uh, intestine baby is sterile pa. So we need to give it because vitamin K is essential for blood clotting formation. So if wala kita may inject na vitamin K, then the baby is prone to bleeding. So, the vitamin K injection, um, we give 1 milligram 
na dosage sa BB, if full term si BB, but kung preterm si BB, we only use, give 0.5 mg. And then we are, we have to inject it uh, intramuscularly in the vastus lateralis or the lateral anterior thigh. Then, after that we have injected the vitamin K, we also have to uh, inject the baby or immunize the baby with the HEPA B vaccine. So, we need to give uh, the baby HEPA B vaccine in order for the baby to uh, be protected from the HEPA B virus and para hindi si baby malatnan and maging carrier sa hepatitis B. So, we give the hepatitis B and dosage is 0.5 ml. It is given for three doses and given intramuscularly via the vastus lateralis. Then after that we have given the baby with the um, hepatitis B vaccine, we are also uh, giving the baby the BCG or the Bacillus calmet-Gurin. So this BCG will protect the baby from tuberculosis uh, meningitis or any tuberculosis infection. So we give the baby a uh, dosage is 0 0.05 ml. We give it intradermally via the right deltoid arm. So after that is we have to provide uh, per or perform cord care. So we should not put uh, anything or we should put nothing sa my cord stamp ni baby. And then when we are uh, putting diaper sa baby, we should not go, we should not include the umbilicus, meaning ang um, ang diaper is just below the umbilicus, meaning exposed lang si umbilicus. And advice na si mother nga hindi siya magbutang anything sa my um, sa cord because if may ara, makalid pa to infection. Then after that is we have to attire the baby properly. Then, after that we have attired the baby properly, we have to perform aftercare sa aton nga mga equipments nga ginamit. Sa mga i-dispose na itong kamayad, ang aton yung mga syringes nga ginamit. The soiled mga linen, the mga wet cloth, and we have to uh, sterilize ang mga equipments like the uh, instrument clump, the surgical scissor, and we have to decontaminate the area. Then after that is we have to document the procedure nga ginubra naton sa baby, the interventions that uh, ginubra and the APGAR score, we have to know that. And after that, and lastly, we have to observe and monitor the condition of the baby and response to the newborn uh, management. Then after that is we have to wash our hands properly.